Hosting your own website monitor doesn't have to be difficult or complex at all. You can use something that's open source, that's free to use, and it's called Uptime Kuma. You can install this on a BPS and start monitoring as much as you want. Let's go check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Uptime Kuma and it's a self-hosted monitoring tool. That means that you host this on your BPS and from your BPS, you'll be able to monitor your website's DNS, domains, your game servers, and all of that for free. Uptime Kuma is not going to charge you anything. There's no pricing at all. So it's a fantastic option. Plus, it's really good. I mean, it's not like it's something like half bait. This is actually pretty good, okay? So the thing right here is that I already have Uptime Kuma installed on a Hostinger VPS, and I do recommend that it's a super easy install here with a one-click install to install Uptime Kuma. Now, before I show you how to do this, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a VPS to install Uptime Kuma, I do recommend that you check them out. So jump over to the link in the description. Now head on over to services, go to BPS hosting, and you'll be able to find their BPS plans right here. So if you plan to install Uptime Kuma, you can install this on any plan available here. Just to consider that if you're going to do this as a business, monitor hundreds of sites, do jump into the next plans over here, KBM 2, 4, or 8, for more complex tax and more resource intensive. But if you're good to go for your own business, around 30, 50 sites, etc., this is plenty of, of power that you're going to need, right? Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. So it's a great option. Now, the first thing that you need to do is obviously select the server location. Obviously, select the closest to where your websites are located. In this case, if you're going to install Uptime Kuma. And to install Uptime Kuma, just go ahead and select Applications, Uptime Kuma, Go ahead and confirm and once you go through the payment process it's going to install uptime kuma for you it's it can't get easier than that all right now i'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code because the price is going to drop even more so type in sas master or paste it in and the price is going to drop to 107 dollars with 78 cents go through the process and uptime kuma will be installed as as easy as that all right now for uptime kuma how does it work well it's super easy once you first install it it'll ask you to add a username and password, and that's it. It's completely set up and you'll be located right here where you'll be able to create a brand new monitor. Now from Uptime Kuma, as I mentioned before, it's not half-baked. It's a super complete complex system that lets you monitor. Now you can do something really simple as monitoring a website by selecting HTTPS and adding the details here. So I can say test domain, that's maybe the domain that I'm locating it, and then add the domain here, in this case, sasmaster.net, and go through the next details. So the heartbeat intervals is how many times, it's, how frequently is it going to check? Every 60 seconds, so that means every minute. I can even do five seconds, but I mean, that's going to be super quick, but it's up to you, right? Maybe you're really crazy about it, but do consider that it's going to cost load on the website that it's checking. So maybe 30 seconds is just fine. Now, as I mentioned, Uptime Kuma is not going to reduce the amount of limits that you can use, the amount of monitors, it's unlimited, okay? So next you want to do retries and this is going to, this means that it's going to retry, for example, three times before it actually notifies you that the site is down. Now, this is, this is a really useful feature since you won't, don't want to get notified because the site went out five seconds. Maybe it just came back and everything's fine. This will avoid that. Okay. Then the heartbeat for the retry intervals, this can be different as the first one. Maybe I want to check every 10 seconds for the retry interval. So it's going to be quicker to check. All right. Now request timeouts and the reset notification if X times consecutively, okay? Now go ahead and set this up to whatever number you like and do consider that you want to avoid a lot of notifications and this will help you out with the retries, okay? You get advanced notifications for certificate expired notification. So if you want to know if the SSL is down or the SSL error HTTP website, this will ignore it. And if you leave it off, it will monitor that, okay? the upside down mode, max redirects, the acceptance status code. So 200 to 299 is acceptance code. You can add more codes here. So these are the available codes that you are going to allow. So all of them are available here one by one or select a range, okay? The monitor group, if you wanna create a group for websites, maybe my personal sites, maybe my uh, company, maybe the client has another batch of sites, you can create groups right there. Set a description, add tags to locate this later on, and you are good to go. Now, you would also have to set up the notifications. This is a one-time setup, but I do recommend that you do this at the beginning. 
you have all these available options for notifications. Do be aware that you need to set these up, right? So if they require API or some setup, some login, etc., this will be required in order for it to work. The one I recommend is the email SMTP. You'll have to set up all the details here, the port, the username, etc., for the email in order for it to send you the notifications. So do consider that. You can also set up proxy, which is not recommended for your own sites. But if you're going to do this for business or monitor, someone else's sites like competitors or etc then you will need a proxy maybe but it's up to you you have the option to add a proxy here and again you have the options for it right so it's pretty much easy to set up your http options the body header authentication if there is an authentication needed you have these options available too so full featured system here to monitor sites once you're good to go go ahead and save it now if you want to monitor something else you can also do so for example tcp ports just select the details here. Each one that I select is going to change the options that I have to add here in order for it to monitor. So if I want to monitor, for example, DNS, which is something really common, you can do so here. Maybe do a push. Uh, maybe you want to do a specific monitor for games or Mondo DB, Radius, Stream, a uh, game server, etc. All that will be available here. Now, there's also an option to create a status page. That means that from, from the monitors that you've created, you can create a page where it has all of them bundled into one or just add the ones that you want. And in this case, I've already added that one. Okay, here we go. And I'll be able to add the monitors right here. So add the groups here or create an incident. So this can this save you a lot of time by notifying clients, especially if you have a SaaS or something like that. You have the parameters here that it's monitoring and they'll let them know when it's down or up, which is a good idea, especially for example, you can divide APIs, websites, the backend dashboard, maybe something else, etc. You'll be able to monitor everything right here. Just go ahead and add them and create your monitor page right here. So it's a great option to use Uptime Kuma. And as I mentioned before, it's a self-hosted monitoring service, so it won't cost you a single cent. The only thing it's going to cost you is the BPS, which is cheaper than paying for an Uptime monitor that's going to limit you in a bunch of things. So do consider Uptime Kuma and do consider using my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan here on Hostinger for your uptime monitor. And that is a wrap.